Yes. Which is impressive because at this age level, sometimes pitchers miss their targets. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you know if your defense has shifted behind you as a pitcher. You got to make sure you're hitting your spot, especially on that outer half. Look at the young cam, and that goes to the left side. Stinson from her knees, not in time. <laughs> got to be buddy buddies with them pregame. That's really the key. <laughs> Roughed it first. The 0-2 to Hopper. Hopple to the right side. Murphy up with it. Behind the runner, gets left to second base. Now in scoring position with it out. Yeah, that's a good swing there by Hopple. Great contact. Left to short. Nice play by Stinson. Looks to the but the throw is high. Jocelyn Luff hangs into second base without a throw. And Pennsylvania is in business with the miscue from Stinson. Well, hell he's in Bristol, Connecticut. Mm -hmm. The 0-2. Myers pounds this one to left center field. The Lowry going back out of the reach. Luff scores. Her twin sister scores. 2-0 Pennsylvania. I'll tell you what, Morgan Myers crushes this ball and Pennsylvania is hitting the ball so hard in this inning. Look at that smooth level swing and man, if we had some temporary fences here, that would have been a home run. That is well struck. You can't hit it much harder than that. And Pennsylvania, who the most runs that they've scored in any game at the World Series so far is two. They do that in the first inning here. All right, stars miscue there by Lamar at third, and now they're going to try to get the runner heading to third, but they can't. That is some heads up base running by Myers, but she slid head first, and she will be out. That's a feet out there opens the gaps. We've seen a lot of doubles and triples Boys. playing on this field. Stabile up the middle, second baseman, nice foot there from Murphy to Stinson to record the out. And, and that is out number two, Come on. out number three. Yes, every, that's the one thing, you know, we haven't been playing softball a lot this week. Yeah. Yeah. Here in Pennsylvania, we're going to look at Jalen Luft in the circle. Yeah, Luft has been outstanding. She's one of three left-handed pitchers at this Little League World Series. She threw a no-no at state, so she's got some pop in that arm. 60 miles an hour, fastball changeup, likes to roll some ground balls. Her pitching carry <laughs> right back to the glove of Luft. All right, how about that? A pitcher <laughs> that can field her position, even better yet. Team slots all three games. Murphy's moved up into the two hole, that little dribbler to left, and she's got two assists. Monday. Lamar, that one might drop. That one not if jo Jocelyn Luft has anything to say about it. <laughs> and she gets a little high five. From Marilyn Graff looking for her first hit of the week. The 0-2. And that one sneaks down the left field line. Heading to second base. That ball's in the corner. She's heading to third. No play. Slide. Lead off triple. This team. Pareka, the bunt, gets it down. First baseman. No play. Heads to third. Has the runner in the run down. Goes off the glove. And in the meantime, no outs recorded. Pereka in the second base. And Graft avoids the rundown. We can see that Graft is going to be off the bag, but the throw is not made, so she's baited. Run down, not well executed. It gets past the defense, and then she crawls back to the bag for that big timeout. Make decisions and play catch out there in defense. Reamer to right field, Bastia going back, we're gonna have a tag. Rock coming home, throw coming home, good slide. Run scores, Pareka to third. RBI sack fly there for Peyton Reamer. And it is 3-0 Pennsylvania. Peyton Reamer doesn't have a hit yet in the World Series, but this is a second RBI for her. Great execution just to drive this ball to the outfield in the air. Bastia's arm, she showed it off a bit. That was actually closer at home than I thought it was going to be, but 
Pennsylvania strikes again. Yes, yes, gets hit. Hit. First base, back to third, back to third. Braylon, what a family affair here this awesome. week. Hey. Love it. Here's the take, here's the steal. No contest, second and third now with one out. Lots of family on this Pennsylvania team. You have the twins and then the sister-cousin combo. Well, and that's what I love about Little League, right? It's community-based softball, right? Everybody plays for the same city or community. And Carroll puts that one into left field. Pereka scores, Mia heads to third, and the route is on. What did Pennsylvania eat for breakfast this morning? <laughs> Every time they swing, they are just barreling up pitches. This is an outside pitch, but love the way that Carroll keeps her eyes and head down on the swing. Drives in an RBI. Bottom of the lineup for Pennsylvania coming through. They have Alana. been strong. Alana, ground ball to short. Throw to first up the line. No tag made. First base umpire, Taish Diaz Cruz, says no tag was made. First baseman Alexa Okolowicz says we did make that play, and we'll see if they challenge. Well, the throw is offline. Really good job by, let's see if the tag, yeah, it looks like it may have hit her on the arm. Tough to tell from that angle. Regardless, a run does score. It's just a matter of if we have one out or two. Two. But it did look from this vantage point that the tag was made on the throw up the line. Right there, Ooh. on the arm. While we were here, I mean, yeah. some of them look bigger than the player that yeah. I've seen at the World <laughs> Series this year. And they do rule it out, overturning the call, but a lot of graph does the job. Hey. Luff puts down the butt, and it is a beauty. Lamar, no throw. Runner stuck between second and third. Carroll, that throw goes alive. Goes out of the glove. College. Yeah, and so a couple of mental mistakes, a couple of situations that could have gotten out of things. Hopple, this could be trouble. Right fielder comes in in Bastia and makes the catch but not before three more come home with the shutouts has been awesome but a couple of north carolina teams that we have they can crush the mm -hmm. ball mm -hmm. sport a lot of runs we'll see southeast region champs from Rowan little league later taking on ohio bastia to the third baseman reamer nice play yeah. team that you know, do Whoa. the math here they, they need some hits they need some runs. This Pennsylvania team woke up ready to play. Mikulowicz, that might drop. And it will. First hit of the game for Rhode Island goes to the bat of Alexa Okolowicz. And one on with one out. Well, that's what happens, Michelle. You mentioned do nothing a win as well. So they've had low scoring games. Well, Rhode Island, Olivia Graziano, that one drops. Okolowicz, though, a late start. Okolowicz was on the base as the ball hit the grass. The shortstop counterpart, Haley Stinson. That one, a lazy looper to Jocelyn Luff. And it began as a promising inning. It ends like the first inning. No runs. She faces Isabella what? Marcano in the circle. First pitch again. That one is hammered to left way over the head of Graziano. Jocelyn Luft into second. She doesn't see a stop sign. Heading into third. How about another triple for PA? Wow. Holy triple for Pennsylvania. They are sitting first pitch, folks. I mean, they are sitting first pitch. Wow. Back-to-back -back hits. Morgan Myers into second base. And Marcano, too, the pitcher has thrown almost 95% strikes. Almost everything out of her hand is a strike, and so this team is just taking advantage of that. First pitch swinging, knowing they're gonna get something a little bit sweet, and that ball's just peppered. Morgan Myers has a lot of power and speed. That should be a single and an error, but it does drive in the run as Luff scores. First pitch again, Ryan Stars dribbles to second, Murphy to first for the first down. There's so much action. I feel like we can barely even talk about this team and how well coached they are. Miss hit it to your infield. 
And this should drive Myers in as Stabil oh, tries to beat it out of us. Infield RBI single seven nothing Pennsylvania. Well, it's a slow developing play, and with the speed of Myers on third, she hesitates a little bit, and then she goes home, and then Stabil is just going to be able to beat this out. It's one of those full swing. On wouldn't quite call it a bunt, but it's a tough play, and you got to charge that a little That's bit it. harder. And you can see that she's going to beat that out. Nice effort down the oh. line for Lexi. You know, two one, two, two nothing wins. Five runs combined in their first three games. Good catch by Riley for the second out. Five runs in their first three games. Seven today, and we're not through the third. <laughs> Sophia Pereca. Hard ball to the left side. Over the glove of Lamar. Feasting on those first pitch fastballs. Yeah, at some point, as you mentioned, Matt, you have to make an adjustment. Even as a, a batter, you've got to try to do something different. Maybe work the outer half. Try From the up camp. And that one is hammered to the right side. And under the glove, this could be trouble. Goes oh, under Bastia's glove. One run scores, two run scores. Reamer rounding third, and she is stopped at third. I mean, Reamer. More RBIs for her in this game. She already had one from a sack fly, but she'll take a few more as this ball gets beyond Bastia. That is, as an outfielder, you were the last line of defense. You want to try. Mia Graf looking to add to that. That's a dribbler. Oh, you might. Wow, she if you're the third up. baseman, you certainly yeah. want to let that go foul. You can see she hesitated. Yeah, absolutely. No opportunity to get that out. And, and you know, that's tough. Time. It's kind of when the like, wheels start time. to fall off the cart. There's, you know, decisions are tough to make. Shortstop. Murphy to left field. Mercado. Another run scores. Miscommunication. Two players converging, and it's 10 0. Well, that's just communication. New okay. oh, tornado, I think, went through, what, just a couple miles from here? Mm -hmm. And the first strikeout of the game for either side. That mercifully hit. And this group has certainly worked a lot to get to this point. But called strike three as Luff gets her first strike out of the game. Little League stats provided by Game Changer, the official scorekeeping and stats. When their hard work pay off. The fourth time Rhode Island's rep been represented in the Little League Softball World Series. And Riley, yeah. love Jocelyn Luff. She had that ball track. She was sh it's rare to get hit in the face and have to bat again. But here we are. <laughs> Mia Vieira in there for a strike. Tough break to end the inning. We go to the fourth. In ship that was played four teams in front of 1,400 fans. Pretty amazing. It was in Long Island. And guess what? The team from Tampa was in it. Off of the glove on the third baseman, and Lamar. And Luft is on base for the third time by any player in the tournament in one game. Little dribbler to the pitcher, Raziano to first. Field, and you see Alobri, the center fielder, playing deep. Sky to the infield, and a collision. Stinson and Marcano colliding. Oh. Another look as the middle infielders collide here on this pop-up. Both of them, I'm sure, calling for it and yeah. going for it, talking over each other, or maybe neither of them seeing anything and just going for it. A great postseason and season it has been for Izzy Marcano. Myers. A short throw across the diamond out of time. And that's actually Haley Stinson who was at second. Saw one of your players for Rhode Island taken off the field. Now Ryan Stars. Again, and a reminder, you're going to go to the bottom of this inning needing to score at least innings. That was a three-inning affair. 
Stinson at short. Good job, good job, good job. Let's go, let's go, let's hit. Makes the play let's for the hit. third out. Rhode Island, we'll see if they can put some hits together, keep this game going. And the star, even though he was, you don't need to play in the pros. You can do it at the age of 12 or 13. Drop third there for Garcia. Good throw there from the catcher position. Ryan Starr is making the play. In there for a call strike three. Three straight strikeouts for Jalen Luff. The league would like to extend a special thank you to its official partners, Easton Softball and Gatorade, who help support Little League community. Yeah, the winner heads to the bracket final tomorrow, essentially the semifinals of the Little League Softball World Series. The 3-2 just misses low. Luff wanted that one to end the game. But now the run to extend the game is on first base. The 0-2. That's why we wear helmets. Check her, check her, please. Costs a great sacrifice to get you that. 2-2 two, two. in there for a call strike three. And Jalen Lofts with the complete game one hitter sends Pennsylvania to tomorrow's semifinal. Jalen Luff just outstanding in the circle, but how about the offense for this Pennsylvania team really waking up? A couple of triples, really good hitting with runners in scoring position. The most runs that they had scored in a game before today was two. They scored two in the first inning and 10 in this game, 13 hits. Their bats woke up. Wow, Pennsylvania offense making a statement here. And we'll see him tomorrow. Just three over the minimum faced by Luft in four innings as they get the run rule. Back-to-back -back run rule losses for Rhode Island, but nothing to hang their head about. A fantastic season, making it to the final six.